Okay? Okay. All right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Siwan. Um, uh, my presentation is about our experience running LibreOffice for seven years in our company. Um, our company is uh, so manufactured by the name of uh, FANS. It's not FANS because it's pronounced in Indonesia. We call it FANS. And then it's, uh, the meaning of it is like uh, admirer, supporter, not, not the problem. Because fans mean it can be problem. <laughs> and, but it is an admirer and supporter. And uh, our company established in like 2001. And our mission is to be admired brand through continuous improvement in quality and innovation. This is uh, the pictures of inside of our factory. So, uh, oh, my, my position is uh, I'm a uh, operational director in this company. So, uh, okay. Uh, our company get along with the community, open source community. Uh, we are close to, uh, first of all, with Blancon. Blancon is a Indonesian uh, distribu Linux distribution, and then uh, we are close to Genome. Uh, because you know, Mr. Harris is also <laughs> blank on, and then he also is you know, and then <laughs> liberal office. Yeah, so this is a special edition shoes that usually I produce. Uh, this is only two, like you know, one day maybe it's expensive, you can like get a nation, maybe a million dollars each pair, I don't know, because it's only two. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's not like it's really limited, okay? Um, okay. Um, before I begin, who here have never used LibreOffice? Ah, okay, so everybody here is like LibreOffice. <laughs> who is here is uh, not TDF member? Oh, everybody, everyone is a TDF member. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So you guys like, oh, there's only two, so that means ah, I don't need to talk about this thing, you already know. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to talk about Indonesian. Um, Office did. Uh, back in 1981, like uh, where we have a IBM PC compatible, you know, uh, most of the people there use a DOS this operating system. And uh, the web processor that they are seeing is a wood star and then the like Lotus 1, 2, 3. And some Symphony, <coughs> some also use like Quattro Pro, but uh, when it's uh, Later on, you know, when uh, Microsoft introduced Microsoft Windows, you know, they're starting to have a Microsoft Office, you know, but at the time still like still people still using Bluetooth and then eventually now it's like most of the company or people that, that uh, in Indonesia use on offices is like by Microsoft. Okay. Okay. Then why our company use uh, LibreOffice, uh, like open source software. Um, because it's like, one of the things is like, for, for us, I think Microsoft Office <coughs> license is really expensive, right? Like, I don't know if you, um, for, for your country, but in our country, Microsoft Office is really expensive, considering with our currency. Uh, for this, is I, I'm just talking about like uh, Office, Microsoft Office license. For 22 workstations, it's like we have to spend a million yen. A million yen is uh, we, we, one million yen. In our country, we can buy this kind of truck, <laughs> like truck. But this is only for us. Uh, actually, our company is not so big. It's, but this is only 22 workstation. But we can buy this thing, right? And then, uh, why we, we just say like, LibreOffice? We, our company is actually lucky, you know. At that time, it's like, um, uh, our company is like, I mean, we, they're still using like, not the docs, X, still like docs and XLS, not, not the, uh, with the XML one. And then, uh, at that time, LibreOffice somehow can still like open uh, the file. But if, if it cannot open at all, then probably we will never migrate to LibreOffice. Okay? And then 
what one of the good thing about LibreOffice is like LibreOffice can use like different uh, operating system. It can be open with like Linux based Windows, Mac OS, you know. So we have a you you don't have to really worry about what kind of uh, PC you have to buy. That that is a good thing about uh, LibreOffice. And then also I discovered it's like LibreOffice can work in a different computer architecture. You know, we most of the people use like x86, but now you know ARM is rising. You know, like now they uh, in Indonesia we have we have a lot of like this Raspberry Pi, and then also some other kind of, like clone of Raspberry Pi, and then I tried this and it's actually it's working. The LibreOffice uh, ARM based LibreOffice is actually working. So this is nice. Okay. Now, what other thing about LibreOffice? It's about uh, LibreOffice is like uh, ISO standard. Uh, do you guys know this kind of battery? Do you, do, do your country have this battery, double A battery? Using yes. a remote control, you have. Do you guys use a LibreOffice? Uh, I mean, not LibreOffice battery. Double A battery. Now, I have a question. If I bought Indonesian double A battery, can I use it here? Raise your hand. I'm gonna give you a gift. If I bought double A battery from Indonesian manufacturer mm -hmm. and I bring it here, and then your remote control in Japan use a double A battery, can I use it? Question? Answer? Do you guys understand what I'm asking? <laughs> Anybody want to answer? Is it working? Will it work, the remote? <laughs> hey, come on, come on. It should work. Huh? It should work. What do you think? Is it working or not? It should work. It should, it should work. work. It should work. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. It should work when it's not necessarily working. Could be not working. <laughs> Could be not working. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, why will it not be working? Uh, well, maybe the battery is too old right now. No, no. I mean, <laughs> New battery. New battery. Uh, <laughs> battery. It will work. It will work. It will work. It, yeah. Are you it sure? Works. Yeah. It works. <laughs> yeah. It works. Okay. <laughs> it will work. It will. It works. Hundred percent will work. <laughs> because it's a standard, right? So it doesn't matter what a manufacturer you uh, produce. Uh, you want to buy from Indonesia uh, uh, fa factory or any Japanese factory. As long as you follow the standard, like the standard is like 1.454, like the length and the, uh, the, the, the dimension, so to be correct, it should be working because it's standard. I think all the formats should be like this for, for, for what we believe because it should be like no matter uh, what of office you are using, it should be able to use it because it's an open standard, right? And then one of the things why uh, funds use uh, liberal office is because actually our government have a policy, Ministry of Information and Communication, uh, regulating about uh, uh, open document, document format. Uh, our government mentioned it's, it should use the uh, open document format, so it mentioned about ODF and PDF. I don't know if PDF is the open standard, but yeah, PDF. Used to be an open standard, it's not anymore. Not anymore, but yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now how we adopt it, like our company. 2007, our company, well, we have one PC, which is, when we are really small, we try to blow good uh, the, the PC. One with a Microsoft Windows XP, at that time it's really popular, and then other, other, other operating system is uh, simply Mathis. I don't have you ever used this? Anybody heard of simple methods? And it's a really old distro, I don't think they still exist, I don't know. But uh, uh, what happened is this thing's not working. Because you, if user have the two preference, they will always use the, uh, the one that they are most familiar. So even I do, uh, I, we do the world wood, they always go to the Microsoft Windows. So this thing is a failure. So, um, no, no migration day there. Now, okay. And 2012, 
like when I become the um, operation direct, di director, I decided we have to do a par parcel migration. Um, at that time, we have a, a five notebook with like a Linux based operating system, and then uh, five, uh, about seven is like proprietary. And then I think it's like uh, we migrate it because they have a LibreOffice. You know, LibreOffice is the easiest one to migrate I, for our company. Because, you know, uh, at that time, LibreOffice, uh, we use like LibreOffice 3, like uh, with a Linux Mint 13. And uh, li the LibreOffice 3 is still used until 2018. Can you imagine that? Because why we are using until uh, 2008? Because I'm too lazy to uh, to <laughs> to install it again. <laughs> the the uh, Linux Mint 13 is like already uh, end of uh, what's it called LTS is already finished long time ago. So, uh, but it's still working. Even uh, we have no interoperability uh, problem. Even uh, the document is like ODF format is like in LibreOffice 6 or five, this, I can still open it, so it's no problem. So this is a good, a good thing. Okay, and then 2013, uh, our company, like the accounting department, we start using a kind of like ERP, uh, Enterprise Resource Planning, but it's a local one. And then we have a, this, this is our server, uh, Ubuntu servers that run the, um, the ERP. It's uh, based on also, um, it's used a Postgres uh, database and then it's a, a Tomcat, which is also open. But um, we have a problem. At the time, it's like, um, the problem is like for the human resource department, the fingerprint. Fingerprint, <laughs> uh, not, not, not many fingerprint uh, can be used with the lim uh, limbs. It's, it's a strange thing because they say, you know, most of these uh, companies like say um, Linux based, but their format will not be Linux based. It's really weird. So you know, but uh, these things can at least they have a they can generate Excel, Excel, Excel format, Excel format, and luckily it can be opened with like uh, LibreOffice Cloud. So HR no problem. Now this is the most problem. Migrating to like a, a factor drawing and a raster uh, drawing, like a, in, in Indonesia people like to use like Corel Draw and then also like Adobe Photoshop. That's the most common, like everywhere know about that. But nobody really used uh, Inkscape and like or Gene. Now this is a problem for us. Uh, research and development. Uh, so, 2014, I invited Sokibi. Sokibi is a, a blank and coordinator of a documentation. Uh, he wrote a lot of book, uh, he wrote a lot of articles about open, how to use an open source software, like Inkscape, LibreOffice. He, he's a genius writer. And then uh, uh, we invite them. Uh, we invite him and then start doing have a training of using an uh, Inkscape. See that the, the girls over here, at that time, they're still single. Now they, they are now, 2019, they already now as a mom with a child. With a, a child. <laughs> so it's a long time ago. And then 2014, we already have successfully migrated to open source software, free open source software. Every machine, Use a Linux based machine. But this year, 2019, something happens. And I will talk about it later. Hopefully, I remember. Okay? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, not a, uh, I'm not a programmer or IT expert. The only comment that I know is this comment. Have you know how to use this LibreOffice safe mode? This is, I think this is the most useful thing for me as a user. Um, the reason I use this is because sometimes, like uh, some machine, 
Um, when you open it, you start until the logo, Labor Office logo. Yeah, you cannot, then it's stuck, it, you just cannot, and then it's closed. And then you, you don't know what happened, right? And then uh, the funny thing is like, uh, if you're using a, a GUI, you have to get into the Libre Office and then change the proprietary could be safe mode, right? So you start, so what happened is, uh, to, to, to solve that problem, I have to use this command in Linux, Libre Office, Safe mode, and then usually the most problem is I, I found is this one: disable hardware acceleration. This is the most fix. Like usually with this, it's it solves the problem. I don't know why is that, but uh, this is the the. I think this is if you have something some kind of problem, try to do this. This usually fix the thing. Okay. Um, Okay, um, then how about the, con I think it's important for, uh, to contribute, contribute to free open source software. Uh, the first thing we did, we, we, uh, we cooperate with Lancon, we, we do a writing contest, writing contest about uh, to, to use an open source software. Um, um, uh, we have we give a gift like our company provide a gift. We give a shoes if they write uh, enough article, and it's still going on. And then uh, we also our company sponsored uh, free open source software. Like this, this one is the first group we sponsored is like how to use uh, how to design with an Inkscape. And then um, later on we have uh, this book. This in initial uh, in English it's mean like how to write a book with LibreOffice writer. So this is a pretty detailed, you know, that guy that I mentioned uh, do the training in our company. He actually wrote this book, and then uh, this is actually to help other writers to write if you, they want to write about uh, uh, open source software. This is the book to find how to use the LibreOffice writer. Okay. And then uh, this year, 2019, uh, recently, uh, just last month, uh, they have a teacher seminar in Jakarta. Um, there's a lot about 500 teachers coming to the, the event. And then uh, our company is having a bazaar uh, selling product. And then at that time, uh, I introduced about uh, free open source software and selling selling shoes, but also introducing these things, so we do like dual job. <laughs> so, uh, this is because this is mostly like primary school teachers, so I introduced uh, more about G-Compris. Uh, anybody have used G-Compris? <coughs> Any other? Not the Indonesian one, I know the Indonesian one. <laughs> uh, well, G-Compris is like an educational uh, software, for, for kids, uh, for, for learning and like uh, uh, and having playing games. So this is a good software. Um, so for the teachers, it's like they are really excited. And then some teachers are kind of uh, more advanced. They, they know how to use the Microsoft uh, Word and stuff. And then I give the book to to them. Yeah. So um, yeah, this is a good event that we did uh, that our company did. Okay, and then for some reason, I think LibreOffice is a great open source uh, office suit. Yeah. Yeah, well, we save a lot of money, one million yen. <laughs> and then uh, government, I think educational, institutional, industry, should adopt open standard document format. Then start migrating with a small project, like, you know, you don't have to, like, do it. Every everything just do a small part. I think it should be okay. Join and contribute to the LibreOffice community to improve the and spread the LibreOffice. Okay. Okay. Now, before I have a question for you about 2019. Do you know how? 
to pray in a black pepper. What is black pepper? Paper that is a black color. Do you can your printer do that? Huh? Certainly, but you can't read it. Huh? It's possible to, to print on a black paper, but you can't see it. Uh huh? Yes. Yeah. How do how do I print to? Yes, I know. You. That is the problem. But you cannot see it, right? Use a gray color. Huh? Use a gray color to. No. That is it, it, it will not work. I tried that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried? Anybody know? Have anybody tried uh, printing in a color paper, like kind of like dark color paper? So, 2019, I discovered this problem. I want to try to print a black paper. I don't know, <laughs> and then <laughs> it didn't. It didn't work. No, you cannot use your regular uh, regular printers or you know to to print in a black paper. So, I, what this is what I mean. See, this thing, this material is a black color, yes. right? So I need to do something like this. This is a this is a user printer. Mm. Yeah, see that? You know, you know. I I'm gonna give to this. If you give me a hint, why? What is the problem? If just tell me what is the problem with the uh, common printer? There is no white color. Yes. No, no, no. You <laughs> you spill it too fast. <laughs> I'm too smart, and you can see the wall. Huh? You can, you can see the wall you hide. Yes. I mean, like this is the problem. Yeah. Right. No, I mean you can do it in liberal office. You have a black background and white. You can do it, but you cannot print it in the black. Uh, if you do the, try to do that, what happens is you still have a. <laughs> Black, black, black <laughs> all things will be written black. So this is the, this is a challenging problem. Mm -hmm. You know, ha anybody know how to do to do this in the uh, open source, like Linux space? Mm -hmm. Anybody know? I'm going to give you a, a thousand yen <laughs> if you can do this. No, 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 no. Any developer here? How to do this? No? So, see, I'm stuck. <laughs> this is the problem with 2019. I'm stuck. You know, like, uh, because there's, there's, uh, there's a problem with this. See? I got this printer. Yeah? Do you know RIP? What is the stand? What is stand for? What's RIP? Listen, please. No, I give you this if you know what is the real uh, stand for. Google, Google, Google. Come on, come on. What is real? Nobody is doing a printing job or anything. It's paperless now, so huh? it doesn't print. Oh, okay. <laughs> good, good uh, answer. But anybody know what is the real? Come on, Google, 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 Google. I gotta give you this. Not the not the rest in peace me. Not not that not that one. Not 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 the rest in peace. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Anybody? Okay. Rip is a raster image processor. What it do is like, you know, I hate this printer, you know, I really hate it, you know. Um, this is a Chinese printer with a Japanese technology. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they make it so complicated because this one is a use a Roland. Roland is a Roland head, print print head. You know, you know Epson and all. I think Roland is like in industry. Uh, Roland is pretty good for making a, a print head. Uh, this print head is a Japanese print head, but all the other machine is a Chinese uh, machine. Yeah, and then in order to use this. Yeah. One thing is like there will be no driver for Linux based operating system. And the other thing, even if you have the driver, you need this script, you know. 
raster image processor. What it do is like this strip software. This is the tiny strip. I don't know what this is. They put wait. Uh, this strip software is like they converted the raster image into like the file that is understandable by the the printer. So if you put the printer without the RIP software, it will be useless, right? So I really hate this because not only that, the raster image need to be in a spatial format. TIFF, anybody have used TIFF? T-I-F-F. -F. And the TIFF, TIFF file should be only be, can be generated from Adobe Photoshop. I have tried that with uh, everything I, but it's different. I don't, I don't know, understand why it's different, but if you use other than Adobe Photoshop uh, TIFF chip, it will not work. And, and then the other thing is I really hate about this thing is like, um, you, you see this little piece? That thing is a USB dongle, you know? You know why there's a USB dongle? If you bought a, a, a Chinese machine, anything with the printing, they always have this thing in their software. You know what is that thing do? They protect it. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the USB dongle, your software will not work. And then this USB dongle only work for Microsoft uh, Windows machine. So, you know, this is the thing about, like uh, Silva said, vendor login. This is the bad thing about vendor login. I hope there's a, a change in this. And I, I, I hope who, whoever work in like a, this a printing business do something about this. Go to the industrial level one, you know. Even the, okay, some Epsons and then also Canon, the, the Japanese company, do support for uh, commercial grade printer. Uh, I mean like uh, user grade printer, but none for the professional one. It's really bad. Uh, like uh, the, the one, the Japanese company that is like for the industrial is like Mimaki. You know, anybody know Mimaki? Nobody know. Nobody is in industry. Mimaki. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mimaki. Mimaki is a uh, Japanese uh, print, uh, industrial printing. This is even worse. Uh, Mimaki. Just to use the ink, you need a uh, a code. If you don't have that code, you cannot use the ink. That is like a really bad vendor login. So I hope something changes. Yeah, like Trump, maybe Trump do, can do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's all about my presentation. If you want to ask anything, I can give you this. I still have a lot of gear. This is a book, uh, bookmark, not, not the bookmark, Firefox bookmarks. This is like bookmark. Okay, any, anybody want to ask a question? Yeah, yeah go ahead. I've used many several versions of LibreOffice at the same time in your office. So you are still you are still using LibreOffice 3 yes. and maybe. No, 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 not 3. Five, three. No, 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 not 3. 3 is over. Okay. 4 is still. Four, 5 5 now. I think the last. Uh, the last, last OS we use, the, the oldest OS we use is still like Linux Mint. Uh, 18 something, 18, 18, 18, 18 is like how many, I don't know, 18 is like, 18, yeah, 18, Linux Mint 18 is the one we use, the kind of the oldest, because, you know, it's, I don't think it's necessary, I don't know, I don't like to upgrade OS every time, you know, I mean, if there's nothing, is it not broken, why have to fix it, you know, like, I, that's why I just leave it like that, the user's happy with it, you know, so, Okay, why, why, why have to change? But if it's necessary, then like, usually hey, you already got it, you have to do oh, someone. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can give it to someone. <laughs> uh, but uh, for me, the, the reason I changed uh, uh, OS is because, you know, the old kernel cannot support uh, like USB, like I mean, like the wireless USB, because some US, USB wireless is like really poorly made. When it's broke, you have to buy a new one. 
And the new one, when I plug it, it's not detectable. I have to kind of use a uh, latest <laughs> kernel. So uh, then it, in order just to upgrade the kernel, it's too much of a mess. And then I just, just install it, you know, new OS, something like that. Anything else? Question, question? Still have this? Do you want this? Anybody? <laughs> I give it to anyone who wants to ask a question. But how will you uh, uh, solve the problem with the black paper? With this? With this? Uh, no, no, no. With this? <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, it's not a problem. I just have to use it. So, so. But that's huh? but, but, I, but I really because we are like already like since 2014, we are like already successfully without any single proprietary software. Mm -hmm. uh, this is only can be solved if the industrial. If somebody make a, this kind of UV printer with, with the support Linux, I will buy. Even if it's more expensive than the Chinese one, I don't care. Is great. Huh? <laughs> think, Maybe think about uh, yeah. uh, how, how to manage this kind of problem. Yeah. yeah, because this is really very, because you need not only this thing, you need to fix. First thing, we have to have a raster image processor in Linux based, but I, I don't find it any that can convert to the understandable language to the, mm -hmm. the machine. We have to have that kind of software. Uh, and then somehow if you like integrate it with like uh, Jim extension or something like that, that will be great. So it's not using PostScript the printer, it's a proprietary no. language. Yeah, the proprietary language. This is like really horrible. Yeah. I hate it. Because it, I mean, today it doesn't make any sense to use something different from PostScript uh -huh. for printers because that is the most uh, advanced. But yeah. it, so if they add use something different is because they don't want to make it compatible. Yes, yeah. Maybe probably, I don't know, it's a PostScript support white ink. I don't know about the white ink stuff. Yes, PostScript can support anything. It's, it's basically programmable. Mm -hmm. So you can, uh, it's, a, it's a vector base. So you, you say that the vector is white. Mm -hmm. The vector is going to be white. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So that thing, this. But you still need the white ink to. Yeah, sure, but. <laughs> yeah, but uh, when, uh, when uh, uh, it, for instance, if you use uh, uh, the printer with solid inks, uh, you can have a uh, white yeah. ink. That's not for sure. Or sublimation printer can do whatever color because they are. Uh, uh, because that one looks like a, a kind of plotter more than a printer. Yeah, this is a map. Uh, it's flat. flat yeah, it's a it's flat, 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 flat. Yeah. Uh, it have, actually, this have, they have a the ink. You know, like this is the head is here when it's open. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so time. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you.